Hi, my name is Adil Rashid and I have come here to speak to you about myself, about what I do and about how I got to where I am. Hi, my name is Adil Rashid and I have come here to speak to you about myself, about what I do and about how I got to where I am. Music. Music is something that everyone can very easily relate to. Everyone understands music, everyone listens to music, everybody taps their foot when they listen to a nice dancey song. People remember lyrics, people remember tunes. We are all familiar with what music is. But it's slightly different for the person who makes music. And that is the category of people that I fall in. Making music is a whole different process altogether. And uh, the beginnings of getting into a life that is about making music is what I want to talk to you about. And the things that uh, we have to go through, the things that we have to just fight through, and you know, the, the things that we do that make our lives very interesting and the things that make us artists. Uh, I started out as a normal kid when I was 12 years old. I was into studies. The only thing I ever knew about a career was that you can either be a doctor or an engineer or an MBA. The three top things that Indian parents want their children, want, uh, want their children to do. And just like that I had the same kind of aspirations. I have an older brother and he used to listen to, uh, you know, he was, he was the teenage rebel while I was the kid with glasses who used to sit and, you know, do his homework uh, before dinner and he was the guy who used to, you know, have friends and he had this, I remember uh, we had this, this Walkman system where you could put in an audio cassette and listen to uh, music and I, I, I wasn't really into it. I saw my brother do it and he, uh, you know, he used to listen to rock bands and he used to he used to he used to make signs with his hands and he used to bang his head and i used to think he's crazy uh, but then one day i decided to maybe give it a shot myself i took uh, the music player i put the headphones on my head and i listened to this band called guns and roses and that moment when i was 13 years old completely changed my life uh, it's not uh, like I became a musician immediately. It's just that the music, the words, the aggression, the sweetness, the flow, the beauty of the music that I heard really spoke to me. And I, I wanted to do something with this. I wanted to know how this works. So the whole artistic side of being a musician actually comes very much later. I was actually more inquisitive about how can people make something like this. And so the whole big grueling process began of trying to learn an instrument. Uh, and initially it is really difficult. Uh, you, you have to go through hurdles of basically just not thinking the way you have been thinking for the previous part of your life when you're, when you're, when you're trying to understand music. It's a different language altogether. And uh, speaking of language, when I started playing uh, the guitar a little bit, I wanted to go play with people, which is what musicians want to do. And I approached uh, the school band, which everybody does in their, in their school or their colleges. They want to approach the musicians who are already there. I approached them and I wanted to play with them. And uh, one of the biggest barriers that I had to face was the fact that I couldn't speak uh, the Bengali language properly. And they were mostly people who speak in Bangla. And you know, I couldn't communicate with them uh, as to what I was trying to say. But then the moment I picked up my instrument, uh, instrument and I started playing, well, I guess the music spoke. Those guys understood exactly what I'm all about, which was not all that great. I was just a kid who had learned to play a few things, but confidence was like on at 100%. So I played for them and they understood what I was all about. And then they, you know, we, we exchanged ideas musically more, uh, more than verbally. And you know, it just happened. I became friends with these people and I actually even learned to communicate in Bangla. And which is awesome because I, as a musician, uh, when I wanted to come into the music industry, I did not 
know how to speak Bengali. And right now, the bulk of my friends is the musicians of Calcutta and Bengal who are mostly Bengali speaking and I can communicate with them in the language right now. So it was actually the language of music which brought together two completely different cultures and right now we speak one unified language and that's beautiful about music uh, and everything was going great you know I was a teenager I was getting into music I was getting a little popular I was getting fancy haircuts everybody started some people started looking at me uh, like I was a little different from they are because obviously my influences were not mainstream as you would call it and then college began uh, I had to get into engineering because you know you have to please your parents I mean the only way even uh, the only way that I could convince them that I want to be a musician as a career musician was when the paycheck started rolling in and I had to you know start contributing to the household because we come we come we are a middle class family uh, it's not uh, music is not something that I can do for pleasure although the only thing that I derive from music is pleasure I mean there is nothing greater than making music listening to music and propagating music and you know just it's a community musicians are a community music listeners are a community it's just one big party <laughs> so well uh, once college began things started getting a little difficult because it's not just about playing music now it's you have to decide whether how whether how you want to take music seriously and uh, I was pretty serious about music as an art form but as a career I wasn't so sure because I didn't know how to go about it uh, I started a band and the band was just a bunch of starry-eyed kids in college who wanted to write their own songs and make a difference and that difference was maybe speak to about a hundred people in the audience and have them grooving to our tunes or the messages that we wanted to say with, with our uh, songs but then uh, you know I had to take it seriously and when you choose music as a career option a lot of parameters come into the play into play which is um, what kind of music do I do are people gonna accept the music that I'm making am I ready to put myself out there and make songs and music of styles and tastes that are not really my own that that I don't really identify with and that is an everyday struggle for me as a musician and my enterprise my band my friends we have to deal with rejection a lot I think an artist has to deal with being told no more than any other person or any other person following any other a sort of career because we put ourselves into our work we put our hearts into it we put our souls into it every little thing that we create is uh, contains a little bit of our story a little bit of our journey a little bit of our emotions a little bit of our feelings a little bit of our anger a little bit of our decisiveness a little bit of our aggression all of that comes into the small little things that we make because artists do not sell products we don't have factories everything that we do does not look the same the demand for the things that we do is not a household mainstream item we sell ourselves and you can choose to buy one brand of toothpaste over the other but when you reject an artist's work you are rejecting that person and it's not your fault I mean if you don't like a song you don't like a song if you don't like a movie you don't like a movie that's you are not to blame but the work that goes into it I mean not just the physical work the emotional work the the, uh, the conceptualization of it the the whole investing yourself into your music and then having it being completely thrown away by a client who says uh, yaar maza nahi aa hai. which is a vague absolutely ridiculous thing for an artist to hear but you know what we have to deal with this and uh, if you do want to be musicians 
or artists of you know of any I mean, you want to go into any sort of of uh, career that is creative you have to deal with this you have to make yourself very strong you cannot be bogged down or burdened with people saying that you're not good enough because it's not a meritocracy art and music is not a meritocracy it's not about how good you are you cannot measure how great a musician or how great an artist you are it's just whether you can appeal to a certain demograph or not and it doesn't make you a lesser musician if you don't have that many fans and it doesn't make you a greater musician if you know people have posters of you on their wall but all of this is an everyday struggle and every single day i have to wake up and i have to figure out whether my work which is my art which is myself which is my heart and my soul and i have to figure out and i have to think about whether that is going to make me go through the next week whether it's going to pay my bills whether it's going to let me buy that fancy new guitar that i've been wanting to for a while also equipment we musicians need to spend a lot on things that normal people don't i mean you can buy phones and watches and shoes but we will spend all our money on things that make absolutely no sense to people other than us who use it so it's an expensive ordeal but then again you know it, when i am uh, thinking about in the morning just before brushing my teeth when i am thinking about oh, whether i'm going to make money today or whether i'm going to be able to do this for very long whether i will have the support of the people whether i will have the support of my friends of my family i wonder if things would have been any different would i have still would i would i have been all right with it like would i have wanted a different life and this is a dilemma that all artists go through you know maybe i would have been happier in a 9 to 5 job with a regular salary increment and you know promotions and you know if i make a mistake i can just be told that you know you're not doing a good job and i'm going to cut your two days pay and then you know i can make it up later and achieving targets maybe i would have been happier but then again i look back at my life and the beautiful memories of being an artist the people that i connected with without saying a single word the people that i connected with over simple discussions like even discussions like the theory of music or i happened to make a friend because we had a, a similar taste in music and when i look back at my life till now i think that i wouldn't have wanted it any other way if tomorrow my career does not give me the returns that i get right now or that i hope to get in the future it would not change who i am and i am an artist and i think what you guys need to understand is analyze yourself are you an artist i'm sure anybody can be an artist because expression is something that comes from the inside but if you do have that thing in you be smart about it figure out what you want to do equip yourself learn your instruments learn your art propagate your art love your art love the people that are listening to and watching the things that you do and i'm not going to guarantee that you're going to make it as an artist but i am going to guarantee that if you are true to your expression you will always remain an artist and that's what it's all about